question what is Kotak <laughs> looking to do, right? Or if I can be more specific, what is Kotak looking to buy? Yeah. Really. And how? Uh, <laughs> and how yeah absolutely i think but we're not going to speculate in terms of names etc yeah. because we don't have confirmation or anything or that sort at least not uh, till now but i think this has been triggered by the information that quoted tomorrow is holding a press conference if yeah. you can have the graphics up so 315 is a press conference day after tomorrow that is the 30th of march you have essentially the uh, kotak uh, board meeting which is essentially going to consider capital raising uh, now just consider this there's a press conference it's highly unlikely i mean it's never happened at least not in my memory that uh, uh, you know a company does a press conference to announce a capital raise right i mean to announce that uh, per se uh, so there is a press conference and then there is a uh, board meeting so i mean it, it, it's kind of triggered of speculation in terms of what that announcement could be one announcement could be to kind of uh, uh, you know uh, cap uh, so let's just, let's just consider the capital raise question uh, kotak already has tier one capital of 15 to 16 percent right i mean so they're well capitalized they don't need additional capital the other thing which i think many have considered is that the promoters need to reduce stake from 32% now to eventually 20% by December 2018. I mean, they have to do it in stages, 32 to 30, and then 20 by December 18. But the question is, will they do all of this by, uh, you know, raising capital? I mean, that's the question. Uh, uh, this entire sort of dilution. If that is the case, I mean, that will essentially pressure uh, ROEs, that will cause dilution, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, that is something which is consider being considered as a low probability. Maybe some of it will come via capital, uh, capital raising at some point because they also have time. I mean, it's not as if they have to go down to, uh, it's, it's very, very immediate. They have to do it over a period of time. So that gets us to the last top kind of sort of question which excites markets always more, which is M&A, uh, whether, uh, you know, Kotak is essentially going to sort of talk about maybe acquiring another player in the NBFC space, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as I said, I don't want to uh, speculate and we're not speculating, but uh, this is, I mean, something which is out there in the market when you talk to people and uh, a fair bit of sort of buzz around this. So we'll find out, uh, but that is tomorrow at 3.15. Uh, so you catch all the coverage here. The Kodak stock is at about 868.35. I mean, there are various no names which have kind of been talked about, which are essentially potentially M&A targets. Um, so, you know, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see uh, at, uh, tomorrow at uh, 3.15 or so. Yes.